controller class and then now we try to annotate the uh, that controller our controller uh, with the swagger ui or open api 3 uh, rest api documentation API, uh, specification <clears throat> so that means what we saw here the all the definition that we have the all the service definition the, all the controllers the service labeling controller names and also also it says it's all the information about how can you create and then so on and so forth even though it has all the model definitions <coughs> and it has a model definition like the how, how we define the your models the your your definition of models and it has the, all the the relationship between the it's a one user registration has a profile link with that one and profiles it has a, it is a link with the user registration you see if you are programming with the javascript like typescript or angular or react and then the, the other developer font developer can take these models and transform this model based on their their web platform which language they are using and then how they can use and even though they can you test this one that's i said this is our main idea how can we run the test cases and how can you process this test uh, with the both side in the postman side and even though into the in the in the swagger ui side so let let's let's continue the 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 implementations so we define the controller we define our text the the controller text uh, oh, here is the or uh, you need to be defined the need to the, the swagger swagger configurations file, the bin files so you see the annotation in the swagger this configuration annotations is being generated this is the default bin uh, created uh, when the spring boot application started this open api so it has we are setting the values from the application.eml files read the below annotation read the value what we define the application eml file and a little bit later this is the eml file you see the all the values we define we are we are swagger spring doc uh, swagger ui enable true and application doc description and application versions and so on but i will discuss a little bit later later part when i did the uh, discuss the configuration about the docker and kubernetes configuration how it has to be done how it's to be handled so it's application dmm file that's we defined there so value notation application the, the versions uh, because this is the needed the meta information you can hard code it here but i don't find really good way to handle this there uh, the right externally to when you change it then you automatically change the, the when you change the application.eml files and it's automatically changed into the your source code you don't need to go to the source code level you just application profile file that's i said this is the the one of the way how can how can you externally deploy the application externally configure the application that's i already discussed about the, the different way of uh, my previous screencast i did a different way of uh, deployment process the standalone jar based deployment docker docker based deployments and and then also docker docker compo docker docker, uh, docker kubernetes based deployments externally completely externally how can you don't touch it as like you enterprise application do google or facebook youtube did it so you just simply change the application eml file the all the configuration file and automatically inject the values that you are expecting here so you put it like application eml file with the value and then we put the meta information the the bin is created and it has a the open api it has a lot of possibility you can also group by the your your, your controllers your services so i did define it here just like make some some dummy application or some dummy grouping you can also group by these things so it's what you saw in the here the in the grouping functionalities so it's in group by the found you see the user profile user registration user role flight so you can filter it and can send group by things together that's the idea to grouping functionalities <coughs> so so we define the 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 bin configurations the open api configuration that's just like you can but I said I, I will put it in the source code into the GitHub. You can just simply take it and run the application. So we define the configurations and then uh, Spring Boot configurations, and also we define the the controller definition. We this uh, the tags that that simply standard tag library. Just we put it in the global settings, just like put it everything into the static variables in the final variable. 
variables then you can this the part of the center you can change it and automatically you don't need to touch the your controller part maybe your your client says no no this is not the proper labeling uh, into the your your documentations you just simply change these files and make it make a release that's why i say the continuous integration continuous deployment how it works that's why we we just put it like the source code a really flexible way then we need don't need to be near uh, 10, 10 places to change the, the the single changes but that's why i said it depends but i found really one of the way that you can we can really professionally works and but you have a maybe you have alternative idea how can you professionally works for that for that ones the different ideas but i put it like that's way you can also make maps or key value pairs or you can also write down your email file or properties files and then read them email file forward put it these values and globally change the values and the application it take the values to to where you need to be input or need to be injected so you see that we define the descriptions we define the text that the, the standard open api tag tag annotations we inject the services and call the services and and so on and so forth really straightforward so get all we define the url that's what we define the urls and then <clears throat> we define the get all the get all the user role contents and the create the post create the user role definitions with all the annotations post post methods we can an alternative possibility so just simply public the out return user role when i save the user role and update the user role to pass the user registration id user role id and pass the objects and then so on and so forth so you can you can what you like to do so use a controller definition if you see that is a controller definition we exactly the same we use that same uh, values the definition we put it in the files the config uh, the tag libraries and get, get the values from there and we auto and you know, annotate the, this these functions so what you have exactly list of values available registration user and get an add operations uh, response api response and all the response type if is, this is not getting and you can do how many description you do you like to do it depends how you can handle how can you how can you describe your your rest apis because this rest api yeah, you use the other 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 develop power web it where they can get get the really clear understanding how much you, you put it there and it's it automatically handles so you see uh, the description of the files the list of list of user list of list of available user registrations and then also that it has a definition of the, of the file how can you call it how can you do it the parameters and also on so forth is there <coughs> So we define the the user registry the the the, the, the Swagger configuration. We define the our our definitions of uh, our description or documents descriptions each of the files, and you can add what you like to do. You can add also here, but I am just showing you how can you do it. That's that's my intention like that. So how how can you use the uh, generic operation? A generic annotation or standard generation for the documentation of your REST APIs. That's I, I tried to do, but I didn't did complete it. But I started. But this is the basic structure, the generic structure. How can you start the configuration? How can you start the uh, REST API documentation with the Swagger UI? That's the main intention for this. So that means we we define the models, uh, we define the repositories, we define the the uh, interfaces and you implement the interfaces the services and then uh, we define the controllers and then after the controllers with the controllers we define the the swagger uh, swagger ui or open api versions and then for the proper documentation the applications and then that means our development is completed so now we need to be configured uh, how can we build the uh, uh, application uh, with the uh, how can you build a docker how can you do how can you build a, your standalone jar files how can you uh, build a docker image out of the out of your out of your out of your, your versions out of your release version your ultra standalone stand along jar files so we create the jar files build the docker image the take the docker image into the kubernetes cluster and run the application that's we will uh, then that means we need to be configured 
our 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 Kubernetes cluster, we, or we have to be create the Kubernetes cluster into the uh, with with the, with the help of Minikubes or kubectls. That's I already discussed because the Minikube is the only possibility that I know, but but it's the popular one uh, single to create the single node cluster in the Kubernetes. Then this we can run, test and check it. And if it's not, you are not using Minikube cluster, it can simply take the any cloud platform, Google, Facebook, uh, Google Cloud Platform, Fibotel Cloud Foundry, or Amazon Cloud Platform, or Microsoft Cloud Platform, depending which cloud platform you can also use it. But the same thing, same thing, same idea. That's I try to give it to basic understanding how I can how can you uh, use the Minikubes and deploy the your replications with the uh, with the with the, all the possibility with uh, your proper database migration tools with the proper database with Postgres SQL Server and also the you Spring Boot application with REST services and how can you handle those things uh, to deploy that how can you create the Docker image deploy the Docker image into the Kubernetes cluster and applicate start the application the Kubernetes cluster and do the testing with the Postman and Swagger UI and that's the, the main idea let's have you continue the 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 test how can configure the kubernetes and how can you deploy the applications the next with the next screencast